Hello everybody, welcome to something a little bit different. My One of my normal hobby videos. I was in a um, craft store the other day and um, I noticed a product that I'd only kind of been vaguely aware of and that would be All Game Terrain. Now, you might not know much about them, but I know who exactly they are. They are Woodland Scenics. <laughs> And I saw these little packets. These are only the uh, the paper sections. So um, I picked up two. Picked up the stone black and the gravel white blend. They're all made in the U.S. Or at least it says so on the thing. And they come with these little bit of sections on the back to kind of give you an idea if you're new to the hobby how to uh, set these things up. Now I do like these uh, stones because you can technically turn them into a wall. So we'll go ahead and move these over and we'll show you the the things real quick. And I moved them over into these little containers I have. And I've been given by uh, my uh, brother's wife. And let's see, we'll open up this one. This is the, let's see, uh, gravel white blend. It's got a little bit of um, flocking in there some different sized stones and some uh, different elements in it and let's put this off to the side for a second and uh, we got our black stones we'll just uh, bring that over here show you it's different little sizes could be useful for a bunch of different things uh, the thing I immediately thought was they'd be really good if you want a volcanic or a blasted uh, area, it'd be pretty good for some terrain too. And I immediately decided that I needed to test this out real quick before, and I'm going to do one of these models in the video, so no worries. And I was going to compare it to this guy. Now this is my Tortuga Bay MK3 Praetor, and we'll bring him up a little bit, and you can see. The, uh, the tuft is from Army Painter, but the rest of it, except for the stone under his foot, that's uh, Geek Gaming Scenic's Grim Dark uh, City Rubble, I believe is that one. And uh, I'm going to immediately miss it. Here we go. Bring this one up as well. Let the, uh, the camera get a hold of that. And we'll do a little bit of a spin. Because when I first used it, I got a little bit of an uneven uh, distribution. But that was my fault, not the products, because I didn't shake it well enough. Um, they're both pretty good for a very quick application, especially for basing. I do like the Geek Gaming Scenics a little bit better. But I'm going to be sticking to this for my Def Guard. So... You do want to uh, get a bit of a spray with a little bit of PVA to glue it down because you're going to have little bits of uh, shedding off it. Uh, I'll go ahead and scoop those back up. So you'll want to be aware of that. The Geek Gaming, I haven't had so much of that problem, but be aware of that. So I got this other Def Guard guy. Uh, he's almost finished. Um, there's a couple things I'm going to touch up on him. But he's good enough for a demonstration. And I figured I don't have the glue that they were selling with it. Because uh, I don't believe they had it stocked where I got it. But I got this thick model glue from Hobby Lobby. It's a little bit more fluid. But it's uh, been doing pretty well for me. And um, we'll try these two things and see what we think at the end of this. So let me uh, grab my glue spreading utensil. Which is just a cocktail stick. And we'll go ahead and get to this. Now, I figured this might be useful for anybody who, one, doesn't like basing, two, needs to get something done that looks reasonably good, and three would be for somebody, as you can see it comes out pretty thin, um, who doesn't have, who's interested in those things, but doesn't have uh, access easy to Geek Gaming Scenics. Now, um, I believe there is a bit of a price difference when it comes to the two brands. I mean, of course, especially if you're going through the Geek Gaming Scenics uh, US. It's not awful. Um, I got it as a gift because my family doesn't know what else to get me. So they get me, you know, 
hobby stuff. <laughs> We're going to just go ahead and get that spread. And we'll give it a little bit of a shake when we're done. Let's put a little bit more on that back. We want a good amount of this on there without gilling overboard. So let's get that over here and then back. Got to get a little bit under that tentacle, I believe. Yep, the things you end up saying in more gaming. Well, you got to get under that tentacle, boy. Make sure you wash up there. Death Guard never heard that from their dad, so, you know. Irresponsible parenting. Dang it, Mortarian, what were you thinking? All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves a mm, couple stones. And we'll go ahead and uh, bring this over. We're going to dip him in it. Dip him in it. Whoop. Give it a good shake, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta shake it up or whatever they say in those dumb songs. And there's a basic. Let's see. Do we want that stone or this one? Well, my mom always said go with character. And uh, we'll go with this one. I'm gonna take it. We got a little bit just there on the tip. Go ahead and get that on there. And um, you know what? We'll place that. Yep, like that. Exactly that way so skillful <laughs> and we'll put it right there now is this the most phenomenal product you'll ever see no but i got a pretty decent amount for about four or 399 three something it ended up being about five dollars ish and um, I was able to get a pretty decent amount of this stuff. Probably enough to take care of a basic army. I'm going to be very gentle as I pick this up. And uh, bring them over. Camera focus. You can do it, camera. I believe in you. I'm only your dad be sitter. But um, as a basic kind of... Uh, Alternative. So saying that you don't have access to geek gaming or you're like, yeah, I don't want to spend that much for a relatively small bag of basing, no matter how good it is. Would this be something that I say would say is something that would be useful to you? Um, for a very quick application and for uh, nothing that amazing, but will be fine. I think this does well for the price point. Um, I would say this to Woodland Scenics uh, if they check this out or if anybody wants to send them some suggestions. Don't, I know they're probably initially doing a test on this, but the cardboard back with plastic baggie, uh, if they're going to continue this line, my suggestion is get some kind of plastic container with a lid kind of what they like they have with army painter but go with the slightly larger because it's one thing i've liked about woodland scenics is that when i wanted to get flock or any of those items i could get a big container and i would get a good amount of stuff for doing things especially if you want to do dioramas or something with this kind of thing or you want to actually build like little walls like it suggests here on the one i think having a container that can hold what they're putting in the bag which is a decent amount i believe it is oh geez uh <laughs> they tell me it in inches oh geez um it's comparable to what you get from geek gaming if maybe a little bit more from memory so i think it's a good alternative if you're in the united states uh you're looking for a roughly cheap and comparable product but maybe not exactly the same on par and you just want to get some basing done really really quick I think this is pretty good but this is only really kind of showing off the rocks which you get a ton of them in the container that I got and you get a decent amount of the basing material I plan on getting a couple more and doing uh, another couple videos showing those off. 
along with probably the sealant for the bases so I can give a better idea of how good the total package is but from this I would say it's a decent basing material for people who want to get something smashed out really quick they want to get a decent amount of it for an okay price and they don't have a hobby shop or an unwillingness to simply buy it on Amazon and you have something like a, a Joann's or a Hobby Lobby or whatever that might be carrying this I think this is a good alternative and it's not bad looking it's got a decent amount of uh, different sizes of things in there and honestly when especially when you get something like these guys painted in snarsnick green or scarsnick green or choppa green or whatever green it is uh, you're going to want a darker base but I like the variations in it which unfortunately the uh, Geek Gaming City Rubble doesn't really have that but it's, it's really nice looking so beyond that if you're new to basing, I think these will work really good, or you just don't want to do all of the basing hoo-ha. My only other tip is this. Get yourself some tufts, kind of like this from the Army Painter, and you'll have a pretty decent, acceptable base that you can take care of in minutes. And if you can get it, go for this kind of modeling slash terrain glue. I got... Um, Eight fluid ounces or 240 milliliters of it and I got this from Hobby Lobby for about eight bucks but it's really it's really thin and it holds fairly well um, you can use normal PVA mixed with water whatever I can always go over uh, basing if people want but my initial review is it's a pretty decent product it's got some rough uh, rough ends with some of the marketing because I Again, it's Woodland Scenics. They're not a, a miniature hobbyist uh, kind of place. They're more for trains and dioramas. But I think it's a nice step in the right direction. And it's a nice thing for people who do not have access to hobby shops carrying, well, things like Geeky Gaming Scenics or other basing solutions from like the Army Painter. And people who really just want one bag of solutions for a decent price. So I, it's a recommend for me for just getting things done. Not the most spectacular, but it will do the job and it's serviceable. And I kind of like this blend. I'm going to be trying out some others when I go back and grab some more since I saw it. And I'll give you my thoughts in uh, deeper about that. But right now, it's two thumbs up for me. So have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.